Okay, folks, I've shot this video probably about three or four times. This is going to be the one. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the update on how uh, uh, how my equipment's been holding up. So uh, between the truck and trailer, I got the, um, call it the end of March. The truck's got just over 30,000 miles on it. And the trailer's right, like right about there. What I did was I, when I went to go pick up the truck, from Elkhart, Indiana, I went right after that to go get the trailer. So they're about the same. When I got the truck, it had 122 miles on it. So, call them both around around 30,000 miles for both of them. I probably drove the truck a little bit more. Um, anyway, that's where, uh, so as far as the truck goes, I got, you know, the tires, well, you probably can't tell, but the tires are different. I had to get one set of tires replaced. So the front tires are new back ones were the original ones that came on there and that happened maybe a couple of maybe a week and a half ago um, it's dirty I gotta get it clean uh, let's see what else we got going on inside pretty uneventful um, like I said about 30,000 on there oh my crap no yeah, nothing really to report. Oh, I got this. Got this thing. This actually was sent to me by Backshield. I'm doing a, a test for them, a little product review to come out soon. But uh, the only trouble I've had with the truck, I wouldn't even call it trouble, just something to make note of is that the uh, check engine light just stays on. Um, I had it checked out. They don't know what's wrong with it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, yeah, so that's, it. like I said, that's it for the truck. So I have a spare because um, I had to get a new tire. So I'll get to that once I get more into the trailer. So anyway, as far as the truck goes, smooth sailing, no issues, good on gas, holding up as it should. So now when it comes to the trailer, all right, so it's a Southern trailer so i guess with all of this stuff i've had pickup trucks in the past before so that's not new but this is my first trailer ever so i have no idea what to compare it to so i'll just just go over the stuff that i noticed that i have had to deal with so um on on the this pin that locks that in sometimes that little coupler will bend so i gotta bang it back every so often but that's not a big deal uh this thing's loose I just have to tighten that up that's again not a big deal that's the replacement tire that I have there so and this one actually has a hole in it a slow leak that you can really hear if I um, that's how I knew to replace it I parked one day as I was making one of these videos before and I just heard the hissing on it heard hissing coming from it I should say and uh, yeah that so I just went and got one replaced because it happened over the weekend. So it's a whole new tire, rim and tire. So I have an extra rim and tire. I just got to get this tire replaced and then I'll have a backup, backup pair. So I'm not opening up the box. The box is pretty straightforward. There's nothing in there to really even look at. Um, I actually just pulled those out today. I'll probably put them back in those binders. Last loading um, video uh, I made where I had a paver on here that they had to load from the back and turn sideways and all that stuff. Uh, I just unloaded that, so that's why the, those binders are still up there. So, I mean, let's take a look at the deck. I mean, a couple chips here and there, but nothing crazy. I had uh, some freight screwed to the deck here and there, but doesn't seem that I probably should get it cleaned off or sweep it off. But structurally, no issues this uh that's the tire that well, i had a problem with that i had to replace so that's actually the spare that i bought the trailer with that's on there um and if it's a little you can tell it's a little fresher than that one but it's the same tire well, onyx tires don't know anything about them but that's what all the that's what the trailer came with uh i forget the name of the brand of the tire that's up there it is a let's take a quick peek they're all 235.80. It is a Lodestar. 
same room uh, just same same room different different tire same size so all right that's that's that uh, all the signals and everything work the only I would say the thing I've had the most issue with with the trailer um, yeah this thing stays back here uh, the thing I've had the most issue with is are the lights I would say um, in the center that one's a replaced oh wait. yeah the center one that one's a replacement I've replaced this one twice uh, I'm not sure why when I say like replace it like I'll come back and do my check and it'll just be gone like popped out so um, after I replaced that last one, it, I haven't had to do it. But what I think the problem is, is since since I don't have any mud flaps, what I think happens is sometimes some stuff gets shot back. Because you can kind of see how like the backside of it is exposed. If I had to critique anything about the build quality of this trailer, which there's not much. It's pretty straightforward and solid. But there's one thing that just gets me nervous is the wires are exposed for the most part on the backside. I'll show you. See that? So like they're just there. So anytime anything kicks back from the tires, it'll fly right back. And I'm thinking maybe one time, maybe a rock shot and shot back and just pile popped that out. I don't know what happened. Um, but anyway, I keep a couple extra ones in the truck just in case, because it happened. Uh, happened a couple times. So I had this happen like the week first or second week. Um, I think I just. I don't know if someone ran into me or I ran into somebody, but kind of just got grazed, but still works 100%. Just looks a little ugly. Yeah, scrapes on the side. Like I said, um, this is actually new. I don't know what that is. So as far as, yeah, all that being said, pretty, uh, pretty quiet in terms of things I've had to deal with with the trailer. It works as it should. I think I um, I just double checked the other day. Uh, Alex hit me up. He wanted to find out. I think he was researching it for someone else. Uh, like just weights on trailers, and I thought this was up around uh, around 8,000 pounds. But I called Shane down at Southern Trailers, and he said that it was really. Uh, he said it was only like 7,000 pounds. So, guess just for a uh, point of reference, anyone who's considering it, it's. Um, it's a it's 40 feet so it's 35 with the five foot dovetail um, and it is about 7,000 pounds by itself um, what else it's derated to 12,000 GVWR I think originally because uh, it's got the two set it has a, um, a pair of 7k axles so by default it should be 14,000 I did that in the beginning just because I, I didn't know what kind of truck I was going to end up with well I I wanted to get a single reel wheel but based on availability I was told that I was probably going to end up with a dually and the duallys were rated at 14 so I just got it at 12 just in case um, yeah, just in case I ended up back in a dually for whatever reason uh, I wanted to make sure I'll be okay still be non CDL so yeah. That is it. Um Okay, so not much to say. I mean I guess it's good no news is good news when it comes to the trailer. Like I said, the only issues I've had, just a quick recap. The only issues I've had is I've had to replace a tire, which is not really a trailer related issue. Um fiddling with the lights a little bit. I had to do that and um that pin having to bang that back in place every so often that little coupler having to do that also I got to tighten that up when I first got the trailer I guess I should make note when I first got the trailer and I think it had more to do with the truck than the actual trailer but when I first got it I had issues with the lights and uh, I don't have this is the last of what you can see what I used to do I had a had to run this wire i had to run an extra ground wire shane from uh from southern trailer said sometimes that happens so he just told me just to run another wire to ground the truck and a different plate ground the trailer 
in a different place. So what I did was, at the time, I took and I ground, I took the ground right right here, and I ran it up through, and it came up underneath the um, the rails, and then you can kind of see a little bit of it peeking in, out through there, and then I would just connect it. And I had another wire on the back side of his, and I would just connect them every time I connected the trailer. It would just be like one step, one side, you know. The chains and all that stuff the chip the little plug was dangled and then i didn't have any problems i want to say maybe it's been a month since i've had to do that i guess it broke in as it should have and i no longer have the issue with the light so i don't have to do any kind of extra grounding and um that's it so wrap this video up and yeah just wanted to give a quick breakdown of like how this equipment has been lasting so far and I guess so far so good. So I get keep keep the questions coming. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see everyone in the next video. Peace.